Hey guys, Levi here with Trident Fly Fishing and today we're gonna to be tying a jailbird. This is a pattern developed by Marla Blair for uh, fishing for trout. Real effective pattern, one of those things you can take anywhere that there's trout, whether it's a stock stream, wild stream, whatever. It's probably gonna catch fish. It imitates nothing but everything at the same time. It's just one of those things that just looks buggy and it's a real good pattern to drop off of a larger nymph, say a stone fly or something like that. Um, we're gonna tie this fly today in the color olive with some red ribbing, which is the traditional uh, sort of color scheme, but it's just one of those flies you can tie gray, brown, black, uh, maybe like a cream, any sort of uh, natural color there. And uh, for the hook, we're using a Daiichi 1130, simple pattern. We're gonna use River Road for the wing case, which is a nice compliment, just sort of like stands out in the water, which is always good. And uh, if you're looking for a materials list, you'll find that below. And you might have to hit the show more button to see it, but it's all down there. And if you're looking for materials, we've got all that at tridentflyfishing.com. And uh, we got everything for this fly, as well as probably like, I don't know, 10,000 other fly tying items. So regardless of what you're using, it's probably on there. And uh, orders over 49 bucks do ship for free. So feel free to capitalize on that. And uh, let's go ahead and get this fly started right now. Let's get started with a Daiichi 1130 hooking device. This is size 16, but you can tie this fly 10, 12, all the way down to a 22, 24. We're gonna throw some thread on there. We're using 8 aught tan unithread. And let's get this thread all the way back, a little beyond the bend of the hook. And then we'll snip our excess. This is a fly designed by Marla Blair for uh, fish in Massachusetts waters, but works equally well in our home state. It's one of those flies that doesn't quite look like any specific bug, but it looks like food to fish, and it's quite effective. Really good dropper fly whenever you're looking for a smaller nymph to put off the end of something big, say a stonefly. And we're gonna move right into some red ultra wire. This is gonna be our ribbing for the fly. Get a nice, four inch section off, and we'll tie that right in. This will add both segmentation and a little bit of durability as well. So capture that with your thread, and then run your thread all the way back to where we ended our thread. All right, so now that we have this wire tied in, I'm just gonna clean this up so that our dubbing is Nice on the outside, you have a clean inner, you're gonna have a clean outer. So bring our thread all the way back to our wire. We're gonna move right into some super fine dry fly dubbing. This is the color olive. You can tie this fly in sort of any variation you want. The original was tied in a shade of olive with a red ribbing. So we're gonna, we're gonna follow suit on that one. But you can also tie it in any color combo that you like. It's pretty versatile. So we want a nice thin dubbing noodle on here. And you can err on the side of less being more. I always say I'd rather add dubbing an extra four or five times and have to remove it once. All right, so now that we have our dubbing applied to the thread, we're just gonna create a nice smooth body. And we want a bit of a natural taper worked into this fly that progresses as we get towards the thorax. And we're gonna, a few more wraps, we can bring this back a time or two. And that's good. And here you'll see why I really don't like to remove dubbing. It's quite a pain, sort of sloppy. That's how it's done if you need to. All right, so now that we have our body finished, let's go ahead and wind our wire. This is gonna add some durability and also some segmentation to the fly and also just a little bit of color variance. So throw a few wraps on there and we'll tie that in. And you can save your scissors by just pulling this off. And all the materials that we're using today can be found at tridentflyfishing.com and orders over 49 bucks do ship for free. So you wanna tie this fly up, got everything you need on there and more. 
We're gonna move into some River Road. This is a foam wing sheet material. It's got a nice speckle to it, and it's also a thin thickness, so we don't have this big bulgy thing up there. So let's cut ourselves a little strip. I only probably need about an inch or so. What I like to do, just to make everything a little neater, is I'm just gonna clip this off here and sort of taper this just so you're tying in less material. So once we have that taken care of, just go ahead and tie it in right where the thorax is and you can just wrap right over top of it to create a little bit of bulk in the thorax area. So now go ahead and bring your thread right to the start of that wing pad and we'll move into some some more super fine dry fly dubbing. This is sort of a two-part wing case so we won't fully wrap our thorax the first go. I want to get some bulk here so the thorax is more pronounced. Run your dubbing back and forth as needed. Add just a little more here. So now, I'm gonna just fold this over, tie it down, make sure it's squarely on top of the, or the hook, and once you get that seated, we're gonna advance our thread right to the start of the wing pad, pull this over, and double it in. Creates just a little more pronounced wing pad, and you can pull that right off like I did, or cut it. So, fly's not done yet, this is a crucial step. We want to get a little more dubbing on our thread and we're just going to do some figure eight wraps. And what that's going to do is make this wing case a little more subtle while also bulking up the thorax and cleaning up any thread that may have been in there from the wrapping. Now that we have our dubbing applied, what we're going to do is just wrap once behind the wing, cat, wing case again and we'll move into some figure eight wraps. What that does is cleans everything up makes a nice pronounced thorax while also kind of dulling down the appearance of that wing pad. So now we'll go ahead and whip finish this off. That is a jailbird. I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.